We understand that people, EU citizens, want more Europe when it comes to uh, healthcare, public healthcare. Uh, is the European Commission planning any kind of specific initiative? Um, maybe first of all, also to to show the importance of health is the EU for Health program. And with the EU for Health program, there are 9.4 billion being proposed as a budget for health, exclusively for health in Europe. Uh, that's actually 23 times more than before. So this EU for Health program would be looking at tackling cross-border health threats, making medicines available and affordable, reducing inequalities. Is there a feeling, this kind of feeling in the European Commission that the approach should be a holistic one? I mean, there is no solely uh, climate discussion. It's also linked to public health. Do you believe that we, we will uh, get rid of this fragmented approach at the policy level from now on? One of the issues is the impact of medicines on the environment. So um, maybe if you would look at previous approaches, that was not so clearly spelled out. So I think that's a, a clear indication that the more holistic approach is certainly there. Well, we have a question from a participant who basically asks uh, if member states should collaborate also closer in the training of uh, medical staff. I think this is extremely important and, and not only for crisis management, but just in general, if we allow doctors to move across Europe and to be able to practice medicine wherever they, they are in any member state, it's clear that there should be a, a, a common standard and, and quality standards. Uh, so yes, clearly. How can we make sure that we, we will avoid a two-speed scenario when it comes to the European unification process from now on? We are not going backwards. We're not going to re-subsidize subsidize uh, fossil fuels and old technologies. It's like the, the analogy with the burning house that I make. That's for me the conditionality. I mean, it's not uh, pushing for austerity and it's not pushing for uh, macroeconomic res uh, um, reforms that will damage uh, social policies and ecological policies in member states. This is exactly what happened 10 years ago. We've seen what it did to Greece, for instance. We have the vaccine strategy and it was, uh, we are trying to be ahead as much as possible of, you know, a certain uh, developments so that we can make sure that vaccines will be available Two priority groups first. It is uh, not a big secret that such a vaccine will not be available in six billion doses ad hoc for the whole population of the world. So we have to go step by step. But um, the Commission is really doing uh, what it can. But we can't say, well, we have a vaccine problem solved, back to business as usual. That would be a big mistake. We have to learn the lessons from this crisis starting from why we had this pandemic, how could it exist and what to do um, to make sure that we don't have other uh, issues like that in the future. We have to, to learn how to build resilient, uh, better systems for the future uh, from this crisis.